doing? There we go. Adjust this. So it meets your eyes. So I have a friend here who is a fitness model. Um, well, she's a fitness trainer and she needs some pictures for her website. So I'm out here um, just getting some basic shots. We just did some basic, you know, portraits, but now I'm gonna actually get her doing some uh, exercises. I'm gonna start with some hit exercises. We got some weights. She has a kettlebell and I'm gonna get those action shots so her people can see like, hey, this person actually looks good and they know what they're doing. And that's the goal. That's what we're doing. Of course. So, you want me to look in the camera? You can look in the camera, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> definitely been a pleasure you know um, experiencing this video shoot photo shoot with you so um, if you'd like uh, to let us know who you are well my name is Jenna Rizzo I am a online personal trainer I've been doing that for I've been doing online for about five months now since the pandemic happened I transitioned from gym setting to online um, so it's been a Bit of a transition, uh, but I have been a personal trainer for about two and a half years now. I've uh, been in the fitness for going on five. So, uh, is this your first photo shoot, video shoot? It is. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> Outside cool. of, you know, my friend, uh, hey, take this Instagram picture for me. Yes, this is like my first, you know, professional setting, um, but it's been a great experience. What is What inspired you to get into fitness? Like, what, what, what spark, what gave you the spark? Have you always been like, have you, do you come from an athletic family? No, do I do not. So I was kind of that skinny fat all through high school <laughs> and was only going to the gym maybe like once a week or once, you know, I'd go like really consistently for like a week and then fall off and not go to the gym for five months. So it's kind of like that um, with friends and, you know, cardio. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, it wasn't until I met my husband that I started getting you know a little bit more consistent with it getting into it a little bit more and he was the one kind of that gave me that push to you know figure out this world and um, it got me motivated so I started doing a lot of my own research on weight training um, really heavy on nutrition that was something that really got my interest um, and that is one of my specialties um, weight training is that I help my clients learn about nutrition So what, what is the um, what is your uh, relationship? I guess how did you meet David, and what is what has been your uh, photo shoot experience with him? Um, being that this is your first official video shoot. So I met David, um, I guess, close to four years ago. Um, he worked at the same gym my husband was working at, um, and then we reconnected just recently. I was looking for a photographer to do some um, pictures for me. And one of my really good friends, Malik, said, I have your guy. Let me get him on a three-way call with you and got it set up. But this has been a really awesome experience. David makes me feel really comfortable. Um, so it's been it's been really cool. So if, if someone was watching and they, wanted, and they were interested in fitness and they wanted to get in contact with you, how would they go about you know finding you on social media? So... Um, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, Generous of Fit, um, and then I also have a website, generousoffit.com. Um, so if anybody wants to go on there and hit me up, my email and my phone number is on there. All right. Well, it's definitely been a pleasure Thank shooting you. with you, <laughs> video, doing videography and, and film and photos, and um, we look forward to look forward to working with you awesome. sometime in the near future. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it again. Um, back with Mr. Early. Yep. Just finished up, wrapped up another marvelous uh, one and wonderful um, genuine photo shoot, video shoot. Quite good. And, um, you know,
know, we just wanted to, uh, just had a few questions that, you know, we wanted to, yeah. you know, kind of go over with, uh, with Mr. Early here. During the times that we're uh, dealing with, mm. how have you been able to adjust to your craft during this pandemic? How do you? How have you been able to manage? Oh man, this this pandemic, it's been crazy. You know, people have been losing their lives, and everything has changed. The world has changed. But I'm the type of person I like, try to make good out of every situation. There's a there's a saying in politics that says they say don't let a good crisis go to waste. So I'm not wasting any time. I'm not sitting at home not doing nothing. I'm still on the grind. Um, I have a studio inside my apartment, so I've been doing a lot of product photography, and I've been subscribing to different networks and channels, and just trying to learn and get to get better at you know what it is I'm trying to do. Um, just just like I said last time, my like, photography is just like a side thing for me. My my main my wife is talk uh, videography. I want to do films or I make films and things of that nature. So. Um, I've been I've been on the grind. This it, it's been a blessing. You know what I mean? It's been a blessing for me, at least. So, what separates you from any other videographer, photographer that may do that may be in the same? Because I'm not gonna say that you do the same thing, but mm -hmm. you know, like and course like you don't compete but like as far as like you all complimenting one another mm -hmm. and your craft what separates you from any other videography photographer that you know that okay does, I you understand know so yeah. what, what separates me what I would say would be two things one will be my work ethic um because I'm just a workaholic um I don't really dabble in anything else besides what I'm trying to uh, accomplish so I, you know, I don't go out to the club I don't go out to eat I can sit down and I can focus for long periods of time and um, I can, you know, work 14, 15 hours a day just out on one thing. Um, I th I'd say that gives me like a competitive edge over a lot of other people, even though we're not in competition, but um, that's just a trait that I feel um, pushes me a little higher above some, some people. Another thing is um, I feel like a lot of people associate like social media with real life. So they live on social media, even though it doesn't reflect what they're going through in their reality. And me, I try to keep a balanced perspective. So I don't, everything that I do is not on social media. I don't, I'm really big on privacy and things of that nature. So it's like, I don't post a lot. I'm not on social media a lot doing a bunch of stuff. My goal isn't to get a bunch of followers. I'm trying to get the right followers so that we can continue to grow uh, together and just take it from there. People that appreciate you in your own craft, exactly. in your own genre. Exactly, there's no point in having people following you if you don't know how to lead. Right. Exactly, you exactly. Know. All right, it's, it's amazing, amazing, we appreciate that. Uh, how do you help uh, models that you shoot just relax? And you know, how do you help them relax mm -hmm. and adjust during the, the the, uh, the video shoot. Yeah. yeah um, so yeah, a lot of people who I work with, this is like their first time actually doing any type of uh, professional photography or videography, and I think that it's important to give them something that um, that they're that they're comfortable they're comfortable doing. Let them know that it's not that big of a deal. It's okay if you mess up. Um, tell jokes. Be be goofy myself. Like I try to I try to make people comfortable just by me being you know silly and you know dancing around and like telling jokes things of that nature. But um, I think that the, the number one thing that works the most is letting them see what's going on um, when you're taking the picture. Um, before like I wasn't shooting tethered, but now I'm tethered and I can show them right then and there in real time what the actual photo was looking like, and then. You know, hyping them up like, "Hey, yeah, that was a good shot. Let's yeah. do that again." Woo -woo. Yeah. That type of stuff builds people's like confidence. Um, and See, I think, yeah, that, if they, that works. If they're able, if they're able to be involved, and it makes them more relaxed, right. they get to see. Yeah. Instead of just being like a robot. Like, right. You, know, you, you gotta, you gotta communicate. Let them know, um, you know, what you want. Mm -hmm. Let them know when they're doing a good job, and let them know when they need to make adjustments. And last but not least, this final question. Um, if you could do this anymore, mm -hmm. like this is all taken away, Lord forbid, God forbid, like, what would you do, you know, as far as like a craft, I would say secondary to better help, you know, who you are as a, as a man? If I could.
couldn't do film or photography, I, I would go back to, you know, being a personal trainer and just, you know, helping people um, along their fitness journey. Mm. Um, that's another way to, you know, improve people's lives. Um, I, used to, I used to be a trainer, but, you know, um, just given that the world that we're in, I have to make other moves. Mm -hmm. But if I couldn't do photography or videography, I'd definitely be in the gym just helping people become their, be their best selves. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. cool. That's cool, man. That's yeah, 100. Man. Well, um, I'm definitely glad, man. It's definitely been a blessing, you know, sure. again, man, you know, to uh, link up with you sure. and, you know, to, to get back in the studio with you 100. And, you know, to just really, like, just vibe with you, man. I like, appreciate all, you coming out, man. Man, it's always a pleasure, man. It's always a pleasure. Like, if I could do it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Appreciate like, it. I've really been priding myself on The thing about that, there's not a lot of people like you and some of the folks that I have. It's hard for me. I don't know what it is, the, the environment, but it's hard to find real people these days. Right. So, you know, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I got you. I got you, man. I appreciate it. Nah, bro, this is, like, this is a blessing for me, man. Because mm -hmm. even though, you know, like, you know, I, I met you and I, and I vibe with you, bro. Like, you still get, I still get to connect and like deal with other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it gives them, you know, the idea to see someone else, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's doing like some of the same thing that you know you and I do. Yeah. But then, like, you know, it gives me the opportunity to, you know, like, to link up with other people. Oh well. yeah. So you know exactly. what I mean? Like, that's what I say, man. It's always a pleasure. It's always keep a pleasure. Building, man. Yeah, man. I love. Keep building. It. I love it. You already know. Keep going, keep building. Really good. Sure. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually, you know, um, the last, like, well, this is like a wrap, you a know, wrap. Um, from uh, the, the photo shoot, the video shoot mm -hmm. with uh, Jenna Rizzo yep. and um, David Early. Yep. It's definitely a pleasure to be back in here again. And we thank you all for watching this presentation, audiography, videography, photo <laughs> shoot. Uh, whatever you call it, man. Whatever we say, whatever we shoot, work. and we just exactly it's called work, and we appreciate you all. So stay tuned until next time.